and welcome to Amethyst Star Crafting. My name is Jane Allmark and I'm a UK independent stamping up demonstrator. And today we're looking at two stamp sets, which is Beautiful Friendship, which are lovely florals, and Painted Poppies, and we're going to use one of the splodges from there. And we're going to make today, I want to make some little um, th three by three notelets to go into a tin that I've just purchased in the um, retiring. You get a set of four little tins and these tins, copper little tins, and they will fit three by three note cards. So I thought I can decorate that. That will be another video. If you want me to do it, then just let me know and I will show you how to decorate it, but I'm sure you can decorate your own. And I thought that we would make very simply um, six little note cards. Um, you can use them as tags, you can use them as little note things to go into presents and stuff. Really useful as presents. And we are using soft sea foam, which I absolutely love, with a mat of smoky slate. And I've done a few of them, but I shall show you on this measurement. So this measures six inches by three inches and you score it at three inches and then just burnish and make sure that you get it right in half and then just burnish it on both sides so you have a nice crisp three by three. Then the grey mat is a quarter of an inch smaller so that's two and three quarters by two and three quarters and I'm putting everything down just with um, wet glue. As you know Tombow is my absolute favourite. It works on absolutely everything and um, it's my go-to. I've always found that it sticks perfectly. I've given things to people over the years um, and the glue never ever goes anywhere once it's stuck so it is in my opinion one of the best glues on the market okay so we've now got our three by three and two and three quarters by two and three quarters and then we need to cut six two and a half by two and a half and that's what we're going to stamp on so let's start with those the colors that we're using are let me get them um we are using the bases which is the soft sea foam and the smoky slate and then we're going to use a variety of colors to go with that and i will show you those as we go along so let's start with we're going to start with and these are going to be very quick very simple very easy and we're going to start with the lovely little flower in here. So we're going to put that in on our block. And I'm going to start with Flirty Flamingo, which is a nice pink. Um, it's not overly bright. It's not as bright as Melon Mambo. But it is a really nice pink. So we're just literally going to put one in the centre like that. And let me take my Simply Chamois and give that a bit of a clean up. Because then we'll probably use this one again. And then because we want to pick up the smoky slate, we're going to take the leaves and we've got a three-pointed leaf and we've got a two-pointed leaf so on this one I think we're going to put let's um, take that one off for a minute and put it on there um, do I want the three I might have a three and a two so let's just close that one up for a minute and get the smoky slate out because I want to tone everything through, I'm doing the leaves in the smoky slate. So we'll have this little leaf coming through just out like that. 
and we'll have the next leaf I have to keep cleaning off as I go so we'll have the next leaf in just the two so it's just a little bit of a difference and we'll have this one coming in just on there like that so it comes off just a little bit but I think that that looks quite pretty now we want to tone in the soft sea foam so I'm taking from the painted poppies the splatter I really like doing just toning things in with a bit of a splatter so let me just get another block out for that and we'll get the soft sea foam out which is a really lovely, I, I really like this soft sea foam, it's such a pretty colour. So we're going to take and we're going to put a splodge up in that corner so it just comes on and off like that and we're going to put the other one just down in that corner like that. So we've just got two lots coming through which I think just breaks it up a little bit and just gives us that really sort of pretty colour. So I'm going to keep this one out because we're going to use this quite a bit and I can put that away for the minute and then we've got some really nice sentiments in on this one. So we've got a very big congratulations and best wishes to you. I think that that will work nicely and again I'm going to do that in the smoky slate so let me just get a block and see if that'll fit yes that'll fit nicely on that one so let's take the smoky slate out again oops put those out of the way make sure that I've got it nicely inked up and the right way round and we're just going to put that straight down at the bottom rest it down for a second for the ink to go in and bring it up so a very big congratulations and best wishes okay so that one can go straight in on there and you can see how the colors pick up beautifully so I'm just going to we'll do it as we go so then we have them all ready to go so that's going to be number one I like toning things in together sometimes. I think if you take um, colours that match and these are really, you've just got a pop of the colour in and that looks really pretty. So that's the first one. Now let's take the second one and see what we're going to do with that. And again, I'm keeping them very simple. I don't want anything too sort of over the top in here so I'm going to take that sentiment out and just leave them here so I can see what I'm doing um okay let's do this little flower I think this little flower is really rather pretty so we're going to have this one and this one I think we're going to have that in let's put this one in um highland heather will look really pretty in that I think so take the highland heather out I'm going to keep that one open so put that one in and we'll have that down in on the center beautiful I do love these flowers they're just so pretty um, so clean that one off And then um, I want to have some leaves and things in on there. So let's do the two leaves on this one, I think. Take my smaller block. And we're just going to have um, the leaves again in the smoky slate. So I'm going to take them just sort of in on that angle there I'll have the other one in on 
that angle there like that so we've got two little leaves coming through on there then we can take our soft sea foam again and this time we might use the shall we use the smaller splatter on this in this one you've got two different splatters so you've got a bigger one and you've got a smaller one so if we're trying to put things in on the side I think that the smaller one will work better so let's try that one and we can put one in on that corner one in on that corner like that and just in on here I think just so we've got some interest coming in down on the side so I need a little bit up on the top there to balance it perfectly and I'm not going to put anything on the bottom because I want the sentiment to show a little bit more so um, what sentiment are we going to choose on this one so very happy to know you that's rather nice isn't it so let's take that one so very happy to know you um, that one I really like it when you have stamp sets that have sentiments and things in there because you really only need to invest in in this particular case you could just invest in one stamp set and I'm sure most people have some form of sort of splodges and things about in their stash anyway or even if you're just starting you don't even need to do the other colours in there so we'll have that just down on the bottom so very happy to know you that's pretty and that one can then go in on to the next one and you can see as soon as you start putting it in they look really pretty together so we'll put that one in on here put some glue in on there can see I did another one earlier on to just sort of work out the sizes on here so that's the second one like that so you've got that and that which again look I think very pretty I did that one earlier on um, so let's see this is number three so we're going to do with this one um, I think we're going to do let's do a flower Oh, I've got the flower out um, and then this little sort of spriggy flower which is quite pretty let's put that sentiment out there because we'll probably have that one again so rather than a leaf on here let's put this flower and shall we have the flower in the let's have the flower in the flirty flamingo again So we'll put this one in just sort of down like that. Give it a clean off. And then I think I'm going to do this one. And that will tone in quite nicely with the... Let's do that with the Highland Heather, shall we? Um, or do I do it in the grey? I'm going to do it in the grey actually because I want everything, I want the greys to sort of tone in. So let me get my grey. Put these just up out of the way on the shelf so I've got not too much out on my desk. Okay. So we're going to have this one coming up that way. And we're going to have that one coming up that way which is quite pretty isn't it um, do I have another one sort of coming in just underneath like this yeah I might do just have that going in yes that's pretty working it with the threes and then let's take the um, little bit of that smaller splodge just sort of in on the sides 
just bring up that green in there that's quite pretty um, maybe just a little bit in on there and then we need a little bit just in on there yes that just gives a little bit of um, coloring in on there and I'm not going to put it down at the bottom again because I think it looks um, compared to those two it, it, it's quite good but it does sort of detract a little bit although with the small one let's put the let's put the larger one straight across the bottom on there there that's better and then we can put um, the next sentiment so what have we got um, I love our beautiful friendship or birthdays are the best I love our beautiful friendship I think is quite nice let's try that one So let's get a smaller block. And again, we'll do that in the smoky slate. Sure, I've got that in on there. I love our beautiful friendship. Yes, you see, they it looks I'm not sure whether I prefer it with or without the splodge at the bottom. It, it's a bit sort of, it's difficult to sort of tell, isn't it? But let's put that one on there. So that's our first three. Put that one in on here. Okay, so we've got three now, that, that and that, which is quite pretty. And then let's do, we're going to do one which is a little bit different. So I'm going to take this large one here, if we haven't used that one yet. So I'm trying to use as many as I can out of this. And this one we are going to get the large block for this one I think will it go in on that one yes it will it'll go in on that one okay so I'm just going to put this in on here like that and um, I think for this one we're just going to have it in oh shall we have it in smoky slate or now I think I want it in the pink but I'm going to stamp it off because I don't want it too bright um, so let's take this up in on here because I don't want it I just want it fairly subtle just in the center I think and then we can stamp the uh, sentiment over the top let's get a little bit of scrap paper so i don't have it everywhere so we're going to stamp it off once and then we are going to put it right in on the center like that beautiful so that gives you just a little really sort of pretty subtle pink background in on there and then I can take, um, let's put that on there. We just want a little bit of this green to come through. So let's put the green in on here. And again, I'm probably going to stamp it off so that it's quite subtle. So let's stamp it off and then just give, oh yes, that's quite nice. You might not even be able to see it on there, but that just gives very, very subtle. To just give just a little bit of that soft sea foam just in on there. And then we can put our sentiment, which let's have birthdays are the best days. So we haven't used that one. 
so we'll have that one on here birthdays are the best days and we'll do that in the smoky slate and we'll put that right in the center because it's quite a large stamp like that birthdays are the best days so that's quite a pretty little one and again you can see how simple they are but they all just sort of add a little bit to each to each one so that's that one so that can go in the center there is pretty so we've now got one two three four which are quite nice and then um, we've got two more to do haven't we okay so let's um let's have a look and see in i think we're going to have one of these pretty flower ones in the pink so we can change around our colors Let's put that one in on, oh, that's the other one that I had, wasn't it, that was spare. So let's put this one with this one in pink. And I could do two, actually, on there. Shall I do two or shall I do one? Um, no, just one, I think, because I don't want it too busy. It's very easy to start. I'm somebody who quite enjoys just adding things and adding things and and sometimes you add too much and it doesn't look doesn't look good at all um, okay so we're having that one then we've got the little um, let's put that one back we've got this with the gray so we can have a little sort of leaf coming out there and a little leaf coming out there like that then we can take our bigger actually that needs to go on that one doesn't it there we go and just get our little splodges on here quite like the larger splodge over the smaller splodge actually I think I would do that as yes that's pretty and I'm just doing two at the top because I do prefer the sentiment where it hasn't got too much on it so have we got all of the sentiments out yes we have so what one are we going to do at the bottom of this one um I think this one was so happy to know you I think that's quite a nice one so let's put that on right and if you find that as I've just done put it down first and pick it up and then it doesn't bend it so we'll put that one down at the bottom like that and then that's that little one and get the glue and then the last one I think we'll have a very busy one so we'll have some simple ones and we'll have some busy ones, I think, or one busy one. And we'll just see how that works. So put that in. Let's see with the colour palette. So we've got those two. We've got that one. And we've got that one. So we've got quite a lot of pink in there, haven't we? Right, I'm going to do one with. Um, and again, you can do them all the same. You can do them all different. It's entirely up to you. I'm just sort of playing around with ideas and seeing what comes out. Now, this is Calypso Coral. So I'm going to do... Um, Okay, I'm going to do a flower right over on that side. 
with the Calypso coral because that's a really rather rich colour which is rather nice. Okay, so we've got one flower. I'm going to do the this pretty one here in the flirty flamingo. And we'll put that in there like that next to it. Then we can have one of these little spriggy ones which can come in in the um, Highland Heather. Yeah, let's grab the Highland Heather. And as I say, this is just putting everything in on there to just see how it comes out. So we can have that coming in just sort of, it comes from the centerpiece. Um, I want to sort of maybe do it down from there, like that. I've just got a bit of that one coming down at the bottom. And then we need to fill it in with some leaves. So let me just get the smaller one in the leaves. So we'll have just a little leaf coming up. Mm, this is where it's going to get a little bit tricky. Right, we've got a leaf coming up there. I could put another leaf coming that way, couldn't I? Just bring it down a little bit. So that goes in there. Yep, that'll work. And then we'll have that little two leaf whoops oh I've done the leaves in green oh okay we'll finish it off by doing the leaves in green and then we'll do our splots in grey I think okay so that's that little bit on there then I need to tone in the grey so let's put these away and we'll have don't need the green anymore um because we're going to have to tone this in in the grey. So let's get our splodges. And then on this one, what I need to do is stamp off because I don't want it too dark. So let's stamp it off and then we'll have in like that. Yeah, that's fine tiny weeny bit on there and then I'm going to take it just in on that corner like that so we've just got a little bit of the grey in there and I do want to just put a tiny little bit in on this little centerpiece on here stamp it off and put it in there that's better so just got a few little tiny bits coming through on there. Um, I need to do one to just balance that other corner. So we can have that in there like that. And then all we need to do is to choose a sentiment for this one. And um, I think that birthday one is going to be too big down on here. Mm. No, I think I'm going to try that birthday, actually. I know it's quite big, but I think if I put it down at the bottom, I could always put it in with black, but I want to keep just doing the subtle colours. So put it in like that, make sure I've pressed it well so it comes out full strength. That's quite nice. OK, so that's a very sort of busy one as the last one, but they're all... Um, they're all slightly different. They're all quite simple to achieve. You're just literally putting down different colours or choosing different colours and matching them in. And then you can decorate your tin if you've got one of these tins or make a little box for them or just put them in a little pouch. Now, I would put... Um, 
Let's take some of those that I've got. Have I got any plain ones up here? Mm -hmm. No, I haven't. Um, I would put a plain piece in on the centre in here, obviously to write on. Um, but you have, let's move those out of the way, you've got a variety of just different pretty little cards to send to somebody. So thank you so much for watching. Do look forward to seeing you again. As always, stay safe and stay well. Bye-bye.